Hi, I'm Dr. Adrian Bromage, and I'm going to talk about different kinds of numbers. So numbers are just numbers, right? Wrong. Not all numbers are equal. You may have heard tutors and fellow students talking about different levels of measurement. Now, it's important to be able to recognize the level of measurement of any raw data that you collect. Knowing this makes it possible to select statistics appropriate for your raw data. So what are they? Well, the four most widely known levels of measurement were outlined by psychologist Stanley Smith in 1946, and they are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And they refer to the nature of the information that different kinds of numbers carry. So I'll describe them to you. Nominal data, naming it. So this tells you only the exclusive non-numeric group or set that each data object belongs in. However, it tells us nothing about how the members of each exclusive group relate to each other, only that they belong in different named categories. So an example would be whether a motorbike in a race is blue, green or red and so on. Ordinal data is putting choices in order. And it refers to comparison or the relative or rank order between data points according to a particular quality. And this can tell you about the relative position of data points. However, it tells us nothing about the distance between them. An example would be the order of motorcycles as they finish a race. So you have a first motorcycle, the red one in this case, second, blue, green, third. However, it doesn't tell us anything about the time gap between each bike as they cross the finish line, which could be seconds or it could be days. Interval level data could be termed putting value in order, and it refers to measurement where there is a consistent, equal, and consistently measurable distance between each point on the measuring scale. However, the zero point is arbitrary typically something subjectively meaningful to humans. So, for example, temperature in Celsius, the zero is the freezing point of water, but this isn't the lowest possible temperature. So interval measurement can tell you about the relative order between data points, for example, which is the hottest, which is the coldest, and the magnitude of the difference between data points, at least in terms of the equal sized intervals along the measuring scale. For example, if we measured the average engine oil temperature of racing motorbikes during a race in degrees Celsius. Ratio data is slightly different, it's very subtle. It could be called the data that has it all. You've probably heard the word ratio in everyday use. Uh, and ratio level refers to measurement where there is a consistent, equal and measurable distance between each point on the measuring scale, just like interval data. However, there is a true zero point. So, for example, temperature in Kelvin, the zero point is absolute zero, which is an objective physical state of zero heat energy. Nothing could be colder than this. Other examples are individuals height, or weight, where there are true zero points. So ratio level measurement can tell you about the relative position of data points and the magnitude of the distance between them. However, because the measuring scale is rooted in a true zero point, it can also tell you the ratio between data points in terms of that true zero. In other words, it provides a true measure of how many times greater the magnitude is between different temperatures. For example, measuring in degrees Kelvin the average engine oil temperature of our racing motorcycles during a race enables us to state objectively how many times hotter the average engine oil is of each bike. For example, our green motorcycle has an average engine oil temperature of 800 degrees Kelvin and the red motorcycle has an average engine oil temperature of 400. So we could state objectively that the green motorcycle's engine oil temperature was twice as hot than the red motorcycle's engine oil. 
Now we can't do that with an interval variable of temperature in Celsius, simply because zero degrees Celsius is not the true zero point. It's the freezing point of water. So why do these different levels of data measurement matter? Well, the differences that I've talked about during this video in the information carried by the numbers under each of the four levels of data measurement directly affect what statistics can be meaningfully applied to a particular data set.